So finally, finally, we have some news worth talking about when it comes to American Horror Story Season 10. If you have been following my channel for any length of time at all, you know that this is really one of my comfort shows. You know, just something after a long day you can kind of turn off your brain, watch, and just have a really good time knowing that you're in for a ride. Whether it's good or not, and depending on whatever you think of the last couple years, you know the creative force behind this series, you know the actors who come and play off of these characters, either new or old every single year. And honestly, as Ryan Murphy even said himself several years ago, and something that I always point to, this series has become an annual tradition for the people who look forward to it. And that was the problem for me last year when we didn't have any thing to talk about. No season 10, not even a promise at that point of the new spinoff that we're going to be getting on Hulu or wherever they're going to show it in foreign markets. I'm not entirely sure on that yet, so don't come to me for those answers. But still, like it's really nice that we're going to be getting season 10 and also the spinoff sometime this year. So with that being said, we finally got a theme, a title for this season, and it's not what we expected. It's not vacation. It's not ocean cruise. It's not a stranded island season, or maybe it is. Who knows? But it's American Horror Story double feature. In fact, it's going to be focusing on two different stories, one by sea and one by sand. And as we already know, we're going to be getting Evan Peters back, Kathy Bates, Billy Lord, Finn Whitrock, Lily Rabe, Leslie Grossman, Adina Porter, and Angelica Ross. Not to mention that Macaulay Culkin is making his premiere in this season, and it just feels like welcome home after American Horror Story 1984. So now before we get into now before we get into the idea of having a double feature. Now, whether or not this is going to be some kind of grindhouse concept or double-featured movie drive-in situation where we're going to be getting a season that's divvied up into two parts and two completely different stories that have no connection to each other, or if it's going to play more like Roanoke did where the first part of the season was kind of this docu-series where they were just playing up the dramatic parts, going into a found footage narrative where you're dealing with the characters going through whatever they were trying to build up in the first part of the season. If I had my guess, I would say that it's going to split the baby and have this season start off with one distinct story that takes place somewhere in the ocean. We're going to be getting our cruise ship storyline then starting off at least for episode six, I mean, or maybe episode five if it's nine episodes, but then going into the second part of the story that starts off at least for that first episode as something completely different until you realize that they're one and the same and these stories are intertwined. The reason I like that idea as akin to probably something a little bit more like Roanoke, because at least it gives the impression that they're trying to do something a little bit different than what they've done before. And unlike previous seasons of American Horror Story, it will feel like two distinct stories coming together as one instead of one story being segregated into two parts, which we've seen kind of over and over again, both with the aforementioned Roanoke and then later in Apocalypse. But just because we're on the topic, I wanted to briefly touch upon the idea of the pandemic season 10 being delayed, the idea that they're doing this spinoff show, American Horror Stories, for Hulu, and whether or not this story did in fact change between, what would it be, like October 31st of 2019, during the run of American Horror Story 1984, and that Ryan Murphy has gone on the record and said that he likes to have the idea for the next season paired up and ready to go before that timeline, even though he's usually juggling one, two, maybe even three ideas at the time, or whether or not Ryan Murphy and his team wanted to do this double feature idea, and that's what led to the idea of doing one episode like stories for this spinoff that's coming later down this year. For right now, there's just nobody talking about this in any real way, and it would be really hard to figure out what came first, the chicken or the egg situation, but I did find that interesting, and if you guys want to talk about it in the comment section below, That'd be pretty awesome because I want to have that conversation. Frankly, I would imagine that because this series is a little bit long in the tooth at this point, a lot of people think, you know, wrongly in my opinion, because 1984 is a pretty damn good season of American Horror Story. But a lot of people do think that this show has kind of gone downhill. I would imagine that they're finding 
all the ways they can to shake it up with every single season. And this is something that they definitely wanted to do going into season 10 with the idea that they were negotiating for three more seasons down the pike. And the shakeup that we're going to get for this season with two distinctly different stories maybe coming together to connect at the very end is something that gave them the inspiration to do something more akin to American Horror Stories, the spinoff that we're going to get. With all of that said, talking about the story, something that we just generally know nothing about at this point, I would have to say if one story takes place at the sea and the other in the sand, obviously a lot of people's minds are going to go to shipwreck. We're going to start on a boat, distinctly on a boat and then crash later down the season the survivors of that story are going to go into a completely different horrific situation but i feel like the theme and the title of this season is a little bit too smart for that i feel like this show is a little too smart for that especially if they want to give us a double feature so while i will take the idea of them doing a little bit of a haunted cruise ship situation or maybe even a deserted island situation i would imagine that the idea is to have two separate stories that somehow meet in the middle and nobody even expects it. How they do that at this point, or what these stories are going to be, who these characters are going to play, or what's going to happen throughout this entire season is, you know, completely out of my mind right now. In fact, I'm going to be thinking about it over the next couple of weeks, and I'll get back to y'all with any pitches that I have, but I really want to hear everyone else's thoughts and opinions about this. What do you think of the title? What do you think of the idea of having two parts of the season be completely two different stories? How do you think that this connects to the spinoff that they're doing? And how do you think that this builds the world of American Horror Story? Tell me in the comment section below. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, staying safe and healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more American Horror Story content going forward, especially if there's stuff to talk about. It's been real.